fifth week of Lent, Saturday, Entrance Antiphon. O Lord, do not stay afar off my strength. Make haste to help me, for I am a worm and no man, scorned by everyone, despised by the people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, let us acknowledge our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my dear brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my dear brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have made all those reborn in Christ a chosen race and a royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 37, verses from 21 to 28. The Lord says this, I am going to take the sons of Israel from the nations where they have gone. I shall gather them together from everywhere and bring them home to their own soil. I shall make them into one nation in my own land and on the mountains of Israel, and one king is to be king of them all. They will no longer form two nations, nor be two separate kingdoms, they will no longer defile themselves with their idols and their filthy practices and all their sins. I shall rescue them from all the betrayals they have been guilty of. I shall cleanse them and they shall be my people and I will be their God. My servant David will reign over them, one shepherd for all. They will follow my observances, respect my laws, and practice them. They will live in the land that I have gave my servant Jacob, the land in which your ancestors lived. They will live in it. They, their children, their children's children forever. David, my servant, is to be their prince forever. I shall make a covenant of peace with them, an eternal covenant with them. I shall resettle them and increase them. I shall settle them in my sanctuary among them forever. I shall make my home above them. I will be their God. They shall be my people. And the nations will learn that I am the Lord, the sanctifier of Israel, when my sanctuary is with them forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
responsorial psalm the lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock o nations hear the word of the lord proclaim it to the far of coasts say he who scattered israel will gather him and guard him as a shepherd guards his flock the lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock for the lord has ransomed jacob has saved him from an overpowering hand they will come and shout for joy on mount zion they will stream to the blessings of the lord responds the lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock then the young girls will rejoice and will dance the men young and old will be glad i will turn their mourning into joy i will console them give gladness for grief response the lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock gospel acclamation praise to you o christ king of eternal glory god loved the world so much that he gave his only son everyone who believes in him has eternal life praise to you o christ king of eternal glory cleanse my heart and my lord that i may worthily proclaim your holy gospel the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john glory to you o lord god chapter 11 verses from 45 to 56 many of the jews who had come to visit mary and had seen what jesus did believed in him but some of them went to tell the pharisees what he had done then the chief priest and pharisees called a meeting Here is this man working all these signs they said and what action are we taking if we let him go on in this way every day everybody will believe in him and the romans will come and destroy the holy place and our nation one of them kephas the high priest that year said You don't seem to have grasped the situation at all. You fail to see that it is better for one man to die for the people than for the whole nation to be destroyed. He did not speak in his own person. It was as high priest that he made this prophecy that Jesus was to die for the nation and not for the nation only. but to gather together in unity the scattered children of god from that day they were determined to kill him so jesus no longer went about openly among the jews but left the district for a town called ephraim in the country bordering on the desert and stayed there with his disciples the jewish passover drew near and many of the country people who had gone up to jerusalem to purify themselves looked out for jesus saying to one another as they stood about in the temple what do you think will he come to the festival or not the gospel of the lord praise to our lord jesus christ the gospel may our sins be wiped away reflection the gospel today presents a clear example of crude pragmatism defeating spiritual idealism jesus was not accused of any criminal offense but of virtuous deeds The latest report was about the raising of Lazarus. His reputation was rising sky high. 
the chief priests would have rejoiced if they had interpreted the prophets right but there was more anxiety in their hearts than joy they feared that the romans might penalize them if they felt threatened by the jesus enthusiasts for cephas jesus should die to prevent a roman threat for jesus he would accept death for the salvation of human kind self interested pragmatism on the one side generous self gift on the other his mission was to bring together the scattered children of god do we have a similar sense of mission in life of the tree blessed are you lord god of all creation for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of our human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be god forever by this mystery of water and wine may we come to share in the divinity of christ to humble to share in our humanity blessed are you lord god of all creation For to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of our human hands it will become our spiritual drink blessed be god forever with humble spirit and contrite heart may we be accepted by you o lord and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you lord god wash me o lord from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin pray dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church let us pray may the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you o lord we pray and as an expiation for our sins may they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity lord we continue to pray for the sick and suffering due to coronavirus people all over the globe lord you are the healer you can protect us you can heal us you can purify us you can make us whole again through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of His saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished. and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever may our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of Lord Jesus Christ At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion 
He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, John, Archbishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and from by divine teaching, we did to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed upon the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you, peace with you, peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring it in a life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind, body, and in his remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Communion Antiphon Christ was handed over to gather into one the scattered children of God. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, 
so you may make us sharers of his divine nature. Have mercy, Lord, on your church, your people, as she brings you her supplications, and be attentive to those who incline their hearts before you. Do not allow, we pray, those you have redeemed by the death of your only begotten Son to be harmed by their sins or weighed down by their trials. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.